The relationship between law enforcement in Mississippi and ICE is one of the most collaborative in the country. That's right. 12 News' Chloe Ortega spoke with Frank Quarter of Y'all Politics to learn more about this relationship and the impact that it has on Mississippi's immigrant communities. Mississippi is one of the states in America that ranks among the highest in law enforcement cooperation with ICE. And the ACLU is looking to shine a light on that relationship in hopes to bring about change. Joining us today to talk about the relationship and how it impacts Mississippi's immigrant communities is Frank Quarter with Y'all Politics. Mr. Quarter, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me on. So first things first, can you explain the relationship between ICE and law enforcement here in Mississippi? So back in 2017, the state legislature passed a law that basically said that all cities, counties, um, federal agencies should be cooperating with ICE uh, to find ways to coordinate uh, immigration enforcement here in this state. And since that time, uh, they've been doing just that. And how does the relationship between ICE and law enforcement complicate the relationship with cities like Jackson that have an ordinance prohibiting police from asking for a person's immigration status? Well, they, they tried that back in 2010, but the 2017 law actually overrode that 2010 ordinance by the city of Jackson, uh, making it then uh, unlawful to become a, quote, sanctuary city, if you will. And does the ACLU have a legal argument or is their push for change a moral one that will ultimately have to take a back seat to the law? I think the ACLU's argument is basically a, a social push or a moral push, if you will, trying to say that uh, the practices of, of enforcing immigration uh, enforcement on those citizens uh, and those who are also undocumented alike uh, could have a very trying aspect on their daily lives. Uh, but from a, a, a government standpoint, you know, their job is to enforce the laws and the books. Uh, and so uh, you know, having the proper enforcement engaged in by our local law enforcement to make sure that you're, if you're in this country as a, as a uh, legal immigrant is one thing, but being illegal or being undocumented is quite something different. And how could the situation at the southern border potentially affect Mississippi? Yeah, sure. There's, you know, there's uh, projected to be upwards to about a million people that could cross the southern border uh, this summer. And so the, the question is, where do those people go? Uh, the Biden administration has looked at shifting some of those, uh, uh, those immigrants uh, out, out of Texas into other states. Uh, could Mississippi see those? That's unclear right now, uh, but if it does, uh, it, it could infect uh, court. It, it could affect our workforce. It could affect uh, just our normal everyday practices of keeping the peace here in this state. All right. Thank you so much, Frank, for joining us. Thank you very much.